Mitch, whenever we chat, we always talk about uh, just business in general, and we talk about activity. Uh, we've 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 worked with a lot of salespeople, not only as clients but internally uh, at our company. And and one thing that we've noticed is the successful salespeople see people, they talk to people, they call people, they reach out to people, even if it's email. But more most importantly, they're seeing people face to face. They're showing up maybe when there's not even an appointment. And and I, I like to call you the activity monster, not because you're scary, but because when you do show up, you actually do show up and you're consistent and you say you tell people that you're gonna be there and, and you built your business around um, and you are a smart person, so don't take this the wrong way, but not trying to be the smartest person in the room, but being the person that is always in the room. Talk to us a little bit about uh, being what I like to call the activity monster. Well, you, first of all, I've always been a face-to-face guy, and I, you know, I, I have known some guys that are successful calling people on the phone and, and, and having that you know, conversation on the phone about sales. Uh, and they have a, their own special set of skills, but I've always been a face-to-face guy, and I want to be in front of the agent, uh, you always say in the action, you know, I like to be out in the action, but I want to be in front of the people that I work with. I want to see, you know, how are you reacting? Are you listening to me? Are you interested? Are you watching television or are you understanding what I'm saying? Or, you know, you might say yes on the phone, but you really don't understand. And so those are all things face to face that I can pick up on. But, you know, the the sales to me is being consistent. Uh, that's always kind of been my goal, too is to, to say, you know, showing up, like you said, being there, um, you know, as, 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 you know, what I call you, I guess we're wholesalers, retailers. Um, but you know, anybody can send a quote out to an agent, but if you're the guy that's in front of them, then more than likely that business is going to come to you. And, and so that's kind of my goal. And I can't think over the years, how many times I've walked into an agent's office who hadn't called me, but he'd go, man, I'm glad you're here. I had a case I needed to talk to you about. Well, you know, if I hadn't been there that day, he may not have called me. But because I showed up and I was in front of him and I cared and and I'm interested, then that business is going to, I'm winning that business. And I think that's important. Um, I think you can't, you know, sales of any kind, whether it's insurance or any other kind of sales, it's it's still numbers. It, It goes back to insurance 101 is the more people you talk to and the more people you tell your story to, the more people that are going to meet with you and then the more people that are going to be willing to buy what you're, what you're selling. And, and so if you're not seeing enough people, then you're not going to be successful. What happens? So when you're, when you're doing that and like you get going and you're going to say you're there on a Tuesday morning, let's say, and you tell the person that you're meeting with, no matter what sales you're doing, but more on the insurance side, you're going to tell them I'll be there next Tuesday and the Tuesday after that. And then we're like, well, Okay, that's fine. You show up if you want, but we really don't need it, right? But you continually, continually show up, and you're continually told no, right? And and that's frustrating, right? Sales is a roller coaster ride, and and you, and you hear no probably a lot more times than you hear yes, um, and, and depending on what type of product or service that you're selling, how do you overcome that, and how do you get yourself to show up? Because I believe there's that there's that period of time when you're having some success, you're being active, you have the motivation. And then you've been slept across the face so many different times that you're like, well, I really don't want to put myself through that. How do you overcome those challenges to keep showing up? Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, in sales, you hear no more than you hear yes. Uh, and so if you're somebody that's sensitive about hearing the word no, it's not the right business for you. Uh, because sometimes what happens if you show up, then the, then the answer turns into a yes. And I was actually thinking about one of the biggest uh, relationships that I have with an agency here in, in, in Greensboro. And for eight years, I would drive past their building on the way home, and they were using another brokerage outfit for their insurance. And the guy that did their life insurance was not interested in talking to me. And I kept going by there, and I kept telling myself, I can't believe the biggest agency in my area is not working with me, and it bugged me. And I just kept going in there and going in there, and then guess what? One day that guy had resigned. And I was standing there the day they said, hey, he's no longer here. We need some help. And so persistency is what got that. And if I had been willing to say, you know, okay, they said no to me eight years ago, I never would have had that business. But by continuing to show up and being there and being on the ground with them, uh, and that's really developed into one of the best relationships I've had. But if you're, you know, you have to be willing to be stubborn. And I, you know, the other thing that happens too is sometimes by the end of the week, I've told my story to so many people that I'm tired of hearing myself think. But sometimes what, you know, what happens is, is you say, I'm going to go see one more agent. 
and I'm just going to go and be stubborn and see one more agent. And many times that agent's got something for you and it, it turns into a case. Uh, and so that constantly reminds me to just keep showing up. This podcast exists in large part because of CASCM, the content marketing business inside CASSource Inc. CASCM is excited to bring the content marketing services used at CASSource to you. Learn more by visiting CASCM.com. Thank you so much for listening to this podcast. It's a big deal to us. We hope you found value in it. And if you did, we would be incredibly grateful if you gave us a review on iTunes. Remember to subscribe to this podcast and feel free to share it with anyone you know. More than anything, thank you again for listening. We appreciate it.